So when I saw that Adolf Hitler was a drifter, that, that is when I started thinking like, wait, what, what, what did I just, what, what happened here? So <laughs> I know that the drifters from, are from different people that made some significance in the past history, like Nobunaga, I think, is one of them, and Hitler is also one of them. Let me get it straight, see if I can find more drifters that made any make any sense. Well, no, there just aren't any that I can say like, oh, I know them, just Hannibal, that's a murderer, I think it is. And it is just this, uh, I don't know what to think. When when I saw that, when I read that Adolf Hitler was a drifter, I was first like, no, serious, serious? It is, it is just a bit weird that they used him because, I don't know, it just feels a bit wrong to be using him for this. I think there are other people that are have done some bad stuff or are not the greatest leaders or are greater leaders that you could have used, but Adolf, really? But let's just get along with that and forget that, I, I hope I can forget it. It is with, I tried to get all the names now sort of right, getting on there. I know it's my first review of Drifters, but I really like the show and like where it's going. So I try to keep them there. So, oh, of course, Oda Nobunaga is the one that is sort of in the background, or not really sort of lead, he is sort of leading, but he is in the background. And of course, with Shimasu, the samurai, leading the troops, like being the real leader, or at least not the real, real, but for the people, uh, like getting the spirit up and all that stuff. And now with the dwarves, dwarves getting ready or getting that done, it, it seems like they're going pretty strong with the muskets getting ready. But then, then I saw about this dead god or god king, black king, I mean, I was really like, oh shit, this is pretty insane. I don't know, because we, let me just talk about what he can do. He can... Uh, revive people sort of he can heal them from almost death he can kill people like with the dragon we saw that happening and he can make food but I do not know to what extent because he himself says that he is no god so that means that he can do certain things but probably not everything and he cannot just keep making food forever and when I think in one picture in the anime we saw that something was happening or happened with his feet, they were in bandages and I don't know if he's ill or going to die but it didn't really seem that good so I'm thinking maybe he's running to his end or maybe the power that he keeps using is cutting his lifespan or his health in some sort of way but that's just, I don't know, I, I'm just curious, because I was very scared in the beginning when I saw him, I was like, oh shit, if Shimazu got to fight him, that will be a problem if he can beat such a gigantic dragon. But we'll have to wait and see for that. Also with Saint Jeremy, I was like, with the Orte, those guys of the Orte Kingdom, or guys, I don't know if they're guys or girls, that. Even Shimasu is confused with all the people that look like guys and girls, or something in between. But even I am like, what What are they? Are they girls? Are they guys? And then in the end they started fighting and I was like, and one of the brothers was, or sister was saying like, Oh, if, if a guy with a ponytail would be coming by, I would so be losing, but that probably won't happen. And of course there comes a guy with a ponytail. I mean, seriously. Yeah, just, just, no. But it seems like St. Jeremy is like planning to overthrow or at least help Shimasu with the way or with um, delivering uh, Orte, the Orte Kingdom, so they can 
take it over quickly. And in one way, I think that would be great. But at the other, I don't know. I, I don't just trust I'm good enough, like, for me to say, like, all right, I, you can trust them. I, 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 I don't know. They're weird guys. They're freaky. You know what I mean. And actually, um, and that's actually all I got for now. I really loved this episode. It was a great one again. And I'm very happy that I finally catched up with it. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this episode. If you liked it. If not, what do you think about St. Jeremy? Are they guys? Are they girls? I'm, I'm going to look it up and to see what they are. But I I don't know. What do, what do you think? Thank you for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with some friends. And subscribe to me if you want to see more. And hope I'll see you next time. Goodbye.